hi guys welcome back today guys i'll be doing a balloon arch for you guys okay mm. something very simple it will be a color block um balloon arch um i'll be doing it inside of a library so there will be a little bit of traffic back and forth so please just ignore the people walking back and forth um so today this is uh the method that i normally use it's a sturdier method than the buying like one of those you know column kits so i basically i'm using a old pipe and drape stand i believe i bought this from cv linens uh probably a year or two year, years ago um but i don't use this one anymore i've upgraded to a different one so i now use this one for my columns my arches and mostly because they already have like the heavy um base and it does have the the um, what you call it the option to like lock the poles you know to tighten the poles inside so i use the electric conduit that i purchased from um home depot i use it's the 10 foot conduits i connect three of them but one of them i cut in half so they're usually around 10 feet uh, long so my total length is around 25 feet because i'm using three of them but one is cut in half so that's only five feet and then I put it down inside the poles and then I tighten it and then I reinforce with some tape just to make sure that it doesn't come apart. But yeah guys, um, this one should be pretty simple. I will do a tutorial um, at some point showing you how you could build like a homemade um, balloon arch stand that will be good for outdoor as well. Um, but for now, I, you know, I try to work smarter not harder so I try to find stuff that I already have and utilize it so yeah that's what we're doing today um, so right now I'm just like inflating the balloons we're doing the silver the white and we're doing the, like a metallic baby blue and a regular metallic blue or chrome metallic blue so four colors today so I'll be just stacking the colors in sets of three um, until we're done so yeah guys just stay tuned just keep watching um yeah and i'll circle back with you when we get further along
okay i'm back so now i'm starting to attach the balloons to the pole so i'm just interlocking i already have the quads created so i'm just interlocking the quads around the pole um i'm doing them in sets of three so as i put them on so basically guys this would be the same process as if you're building a balloon column you're literally just pushing the balloons around the pole and twisting them to lock them into place so it's the same concept same exact uh concept except it's you know gonna take a lot more balloons to get the arch done so the same concept this one i'm just doing a color block so i'm just stacking the colors so i'll stack four colors then i'll start over with the first color and do it like that but what i'm doing to make sure that it's um even um or evenly distributed i'm working on one side first and when like halfway through i'll switch to the other side and start with the same color at the bottom so it be like have like a uniform look and then once i get to the top i'll just fill the last section i'll fill that with whatever the next color is so yeah just keep watching guys
Okay guys, the arch is completely done. Right now I'm just adding some mini snowflakes on there just to add a little style. The arch was supposed to be in a different location, but due to sensor issues that they have in the library, uh, the balloon couldn't go in certain areas. So this is how we end up in this narrow space. So this arch is actually a lot taller than what my average arch would normally be, but it's it's good to have the flexibility to make it whatever size that you really want so you could you have the option to make it wider if you want or taller if you want so keep that in mind guys when you are um building your arches you know you could just stretch the arch as wide as you want as long as it's not like tipping over or being unstable or you know put it as close together as you want if you wanted more height so yeah that's pretty much it for this one. So I'm going to show you what, you know, I already previewed what the final look is um, in the beginning of this video. So once again, guys, thank you so much for your support. You know, I really, really feel the love. I appreciate you guys um, watching and supporting me. So, yeah, like I said, what, like, share, subscribe and leave your comments below i definitely love your you guys feedback and you, you guys interacting with the um with my videos so yeah guys until next time see you